so we're on the way to Thomas's place because his YouTube award arrived at my place. He had to deliver at my place because he was on tour. But he's back now and um, I wonder what he's doing. Probably practicing his uh, classical repertoire. Thanks, I'd love to, yeah. I'm sorry, man. Uh, well, apparently it's not real silver because it's floating. <laughs> no. Thanks. Apparently not. Let's open it, man. <laughs> Let's see what's inside. Congratulations, anyway. Thank you, thank you. Take a look close up. So now that you've got your reward, let's talk about your channel a bit. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I think I'm gonna wear some dry clothes first. All right. Cheers. Cheers. So, uh, how uh, did it all start, your channel? I think I created the channel um, in 2007 or 8, uh, which is now a very long time ago. And I think I published the first video in 2009, probably. What was your first video? My very first video was just... Uh, I don't know if it's still online, actually. I don't want anybody to see it, so don't look for it. But um, Everybody's going to look for it now. Yeah, exactly. It, it's just a, a, a video of me uh, practicing a classical guitar piece in a boat, because I used to live in a boat at that moment. In Rotterdam. In Rotterdam, yeah, where I was studying uh, guitar in the conservatoire. Uh, but those videos got, uh, I did two of those videos and they got both about a hundred views or something like that, nothing, uh, nothing impressive. But then uh, at a certain point I uh, started arranging an Iron Maiden song called Wasted Years, which I uploaded to YouTube as well, and it got about 50,000 views in a pretty short time, and a lot of great comments of people saying, hey, you should do more Iron Maiden songs, uh, it sounds great like that, you should do a CD. And that's when I thought, hey, this is something that actually could take off and could get somewhere uh, and reach a younger audience than the, the classical. Sounds like the beginning of Nile and Maiden. That's the beginning of Nile and Maiden. Do you plan to make more funny videos like uh, Judas Priest video for example or more serious videos? 
Well, I obviously prefer the funny videos, um, of which we did a few, I think. Fear of the Dark, uh, probably most people saw that one, which uh, was a funny one. And also we did the Night on Madness video with the priest and the transvestite and many other uh, great actors. Uh, and the Judas Priest video that, that we did together actually completely improvised. I think that was very funny. If you didn't see it yet, it's uh, Living After Midnight where I have the honor of driving a car up the stairs and all those kind of things. <laughs> That's uh, right, I forgot. That, that was really fun. <laughs> <laughs> and we actually really did it, it's not tricked or anything. Um, no, I hired a complete stunt team. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, of course, we, we, we have a complete stunt team, we didn't damage anything at all. Um, so, um, if people would like to see more funny videos, I will definitely do more funny videos. So what do you think that makes your videos stand out from the rest of the guitar videos on YouTube? Because there are a lot. There are a lot. Uh, there are not so many nylon string guitar videos though. Most of them are finger style steel string guitarists. Uh, mine are not, so it's, it's nylon string videos. But then, even though there are many other nylon players uh, as well, I think my videos are special because uh, when we make a video we always do the effort to find a great location that either uh, fits the song or is, yeah. is spectacular in the first place. So even if you would watch without sound, and it's almost on a different shame. location as well. Yeah, almost every video is on a different location and they're filmed all over the world and mostly on uh, nature places. Um, so I think that makes it really worth watching. And I get also a lot of questions, uh, comments on the videos asking where did you film that? Yeah. So that, that works apparently. So maybe it's because it's a sort of a reality escape for people to watch your video more than just... Um, yeah, but most guitarists would just, uh, you know, s set up the webcam uh, in front of their computer yeah. and uh, sit like that. The camera is sometimes even positioned a bit too low <laughs> and uh, film like that, like a selfie video. And uh, we always do effort to find a nice location and yeah. make it look really special. So besides your very extraordinarily successful uh, YouTube channel, you've also got your own uh, guitar school, your own online guitar school. Yeah, that, Tell that, us a bit more about that. What can people expect? What can they learn? Can they learn how to play the same like you? Exactly that, yeah. You, you, can, you could, but of course, uh, there's no magic involved. You actually need to practice many hours yeah. uh, like I did. But um, I, I get, of course, a lot of comments on the videos, people asking for tabs uh, and tutorial videos. And I did a couple of tab books, but that's still not the same as really having a complete guitar school. So what I did then was creating completely from zero to Guitar Hero, as we could call it. Yeah. Um, so there's one uh, for beginners, which teaches you how to hold a guitar, how to uh, tune it, uh, how to play your first songs, up till how to play something like, I would say, my Smoke the Water So if you know absolutely arrangement. nothing about guitars yeah. whatsoever, you can start from absolutely zero. From absolutely nothing, you can start and it will take you up to a certain level of where you're good enough to entertain people and impress people. Yeah. And then there's the advanced guitar course, which is really for people who want to play my arrangement. So the ones I frequently upload, the Fear of the Dark, the, yeah. the Queen, what, what, all the System of Down, whatever arrangements I do that are really hard. And uh, people want those tabs. So if you become a member of the guitar school, you get a lot of tabs and video lessons. And I started doing it because um, with my lifestyle of also touring a lot, it's very difficult to teach people one on one, so this is the best way. So it's at kingofthestrings.com, right? Kingofthestrings.com. Have you got any advice on which guitar to to buy for people who want to play like you? Uh, yeah, that, that will sound very obvious, but of course I would advise to buy my own signature guitar, yeah. which uh, I made with Ortega guitars, and um, it well, it's currently sold out, so yeah, you cannot buy it anymore. But uh, a couple of weeks ago, I've been working on a new model with Ortega. It's handmade in Spain, and uh, I think it's going to be available at the end of this year, at the beginning of next year again, yeah. and it should be available worldwide at OrtegaGuitars.com. And is your um, guitar course also va valuable for people who play electric guitar? It's valuable, but it's, it's focusing on classical guitar, and it's actually, uh, without wanting to insult electric guitarists, but uh, when you play electric guitar, and you want to cover an Iron Maiden or a Metallica song, you choose one of the parts of one of their three guitarists, and with your pick, you play that part. Uh, when you do what I do, and some others as well, you 
play all those parts, including even the vocal lines and the bass and everything, so that, and even yeah. the drums sometimes, so that's like six people, with these five picks uh, on one guitar. So if you are mostly playing on your own, it's much more entertaining to listen to if you play a classical guitar yeah. or acoustic guitar, and you can play the whole song in a recognizable way to entertain somebody at the beach or at the party or whatever. Yeah. Uh, it makes a lot more sense than playing on your own the electric guitar part, uh, which most people would not even recognize without the rest of the band you around. You can be it. a one-man band. Yeah, uh, this of course, with all respect to electric guitar players, but uh, <laughs> yeah. So what would you advise to beginning YouTubers or people with a small channel? <laughs> <laughs> So what would you advise to people? <laughs> Many uh, YouTubers asking you probably how did you build your channel so big? <laughs> so what would you advise to beginning YouTubers who want to grow their channel? Because you mean they have a small one. <laughs> so you proved with your channel that it's possible to uh, start from literally zero and grow it very big. <laughs> <laughs> so you obviously have a big one, but what would you say to people with uh, a small channel? Oh, you're talking about channels. <laughs> uh, if you have a, a small channel and you want to have a big channel, or if you have even maybe have no channel at all, uh, but you want to have a big channel, I would advise uh, a couple of things. First of all, you need to find something unique and original. In my case that was playing Iron Maiden and metal song with classical guitar. Um, so something that not everybody does. You also need to be quite good at it, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't even put it online. And also you should do effort to make the videos really good quality. So sometimes I see people who are playing fine but they're filming themselves and at the beginning of the video you see them walking up to the camera and yeah. pressing record. Well you could, for instance, cut that off before you upload it. Um, and then they wonder why they have Then stolen. they wonder why they have not many views. So I would say uh, quality content and also, it's very important to upload frequently, so that people know that if they like what they saw, they can keep following that channel and they will get at least next week another video in yeah. similar style. So it's quality and consistency in your opinion. That's it. What can uh, your viewers and subscribers expect in the future? Well, of course, uh, more of the same. So uh, I'm, I'm working on new arrangements all the time. Um, one of the next videos is going to be the number of the beast with uh, these little new beasts, also that one featured. Uh, actually people saw a lot of cats in my videos through the years if, if they watched well. Uh, so we're going to bring that back, so cats are returning to the YouTube channel. Also this uh, monster here. And um, what can you expect? A lot of nylon metal, so because I'm kind of running out of Iron Maiden songs you could say. Um, I'm now arranging songs by other bands that I like a lot. It's a lot of System of a Down, Metallica, Hammerfall, Halloween, Kiss, and a lot more. Um, maybe every now and then a guitar lesson. Yeah. And funny uh, videos? Funny videos especially, definitely. Um, I think there should be a new video clip in the future. Like a real funny one with actors and uh, funny things happening. Maybe uh, people can let us know in the comments below what kind of videos they especially want to see. That's a great idea. So anything else you want to say to your subscribers? Yes, uh, obviously I'd like to thank you all for subscribing. It means a lot that I actually got this award. It's something I didn't expect so many years ago. Um, and also thank you for all the nice comments that I got on the video and thank you for sharing the videos, for maybe becoming a member of King of the Strings or ordering a CD or something from the website. Uh, the support of all those people makes it possible to keep that channel going and actually makes it possible for me to make being a musician my full-time job, so thank you. Without them it's not possible at all. It's not possible at all and um, I think it's, it's, uh, it's working well like that. Yeah. So I'm doing what I like and people like watching it. So that's great, we'll just keep doing that. <laughs> well, the drink is finished, so um, the interview is finished. Um, yeah, mine was actually finished a long time ago. That's a hint. That's uh, it. Right, so thank you for watching, and uh, we're gonna celebrate now with hopefully another gin tonic. Yes. The 100,000 subscribers and the silver play button award. Mm -hmm.